Soup that eats like a meal. It's 250 calories. I. His. I mean, I, I guess that's pretty low. Yeah, well, yeah. All right, about to get myself some uh, chunky chicken noodles, I guess. Anyway, brand vinyls. Uh. Slink got second last time, uh, and this is his second time entering. So my man only knows how to fight in grands. It's just how he was built. It's crazy. Unbelievable. I just now saw uh, Skew's like tweets in reply on the house account, and uh, LOL. It's pretty good. I like that. It's funny. I, I appreciate that. Now that all the Twitter business is done, what's going on here? We got both on their second. Both on their second stock. Minus, you got third. I gotta fix that notification, but whatever. Congrats on third, homie. Alright, Slink is pulling ahead a little bit, uh, but right now Mega has him in the vortex, and he fell out of the vortex. Slink gonna take that second stock. Twenty-five, not that bad, as you can see. All right, now with a slight lead here, uh, really 40, 30 to forty damage isn't that big of a deal. Neither's fifty or seven. Okay, seventy is a bit of a lead now. Um, well, it looks like Mega was teabagging. I'm pretty sure that he was just like. Just repeating, uh, like something to prepare, but that was pretty funny. Remarkable. Yeah, <laughs> is I don't know. Maybe that was the back. <laughs> I honestly kind of felt like that was like him, like because like some people have uh will do something similar to that, but that I don't know. After seeing that a second time, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Oh man, what did I miss? Game Mega one. one. Game one. Yeah. Sick. Good Check good out these him. replays. You can know what happened. Oh man. Oh man, look at that near into up air. That was so sick. I can't believe I've never seen that before. I want you to tell oh. me what you think of the last kill. 
when we get there. Mega died to F Smash? That's crazy. Another up air, dude. That's insane. Oh my god. I can't boom. believe it. Uh, near the bear? <laughs> oh, he foots. Oh, he started teabagging. Can't believe it. Yo, big flex? Who is he flexing? He flexed. <laughs> and then he immediately taunted when the match started. Okay, so it is totally uh, an intentional <laughs> thing. I wasn't sure. What is the, the tea bagging? The tea bagging. Yeah, no, it was totally just. It was totally was just just like. <laughs> oh my God, Mega's just playing the most degenerate right now. He can, huh? He's like, bro, look at my sword, sword. I must swing my sword, sword. You have a whip, sword. I have a sword, sword. Yeah. Absolutely. Holy water just like drops like a rock, huh? Oh, he did it. He grabbed it again. He, he gone don't did it. That's a fact. It, it just drops. <laughs> I never noticed the fact that like it drops at the same trajectory for Richter if he doesn't. For G. I think it's how okay. Ike throws it. I think Ike is just a member of the what is it? Lonely Island. So he just Cause... he threw it on the ground. He's an adult. <laughs> Oh, what? What? The score. Oh, your score's wrong. Uh, it's disappeared. It's gone. What happened? <laughs> um, what had happened? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just oh, no. Oof. All right. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Bit. What was that about? I don't know. I'll have to test something. I think it's kind of getting effed up right now. Is what I would say if you can get that sick nair to up air combo. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, nice. I really don't have much left to say about this matchup. <laughs> Constant state of winning and losing. It's, it's, it's called difficult. super position. It's difficult because those things are opposites. As Helper said, it is a super position. Good lord, Mega! Mega's like, look at my sword, it's big! <laughs> just, Ike is just constantly in awe. He's just like, look at this! Can you believe this? Bro! <laughs> Another Ike smash. I think I've never seen Slink go for down and up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mega. Oh my Ooh. god! Okay, good. Good side B. Not good ledge get up, though. Could have used some work. I think I think I can try and tell something about a sword. <laughs> I don't understand why Mega's taunting so much. I, I don't get it. Is it, just, is, it, is it literally just a mental game? He's trying to get under Slink's head? Because, yeah, I can see that. He's still losing right now. I mean, with, with as hard as Ike hits, uh, this, wow, man. When, when Mega flexes, like... He does it pretty elegantly. Yeah, no, he's... I've definitely never seen this side of him before. I honestly think... Um, more people should go for resets <laughs> like that in general. It's not even like... Uh, like a flex. Like, you should... You should play like that, honestly. Like, resets are really important, and I think... That's, like, really good. When you say play like that, you mean with that kind of swagger? If you want to call it swagger, I, I'm I, I'm calling it sick nooch. 
<laughs> I'm 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 like dead serious. Like no, I know you are. Yeah, like like getting like going for resets like that is so good because you just like apply so much pressure with just your movement, and like that can be so effective. Like it, it's like I feel like the way people play Smash in general, that's like a kind of an unconventional thing. But like going for those kinds of resets, I think are are really good. Yeah, I could see that. Honestly, um, it's like give them their turn, and then like really show them that you're you're in their head. You know, you know, definitely the way that that uh, that the Mega taunts that are game. optional. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to make sure that it's obvious that like you're not the way that you're handling this matchup. You're confident you can beat them, and that if they know that you're confident, that lowers their confidence. Hopefully, is the idea, right? Yeah. Ba -ba. It was so polite of them to wait for us to finish the replay before I started. <laughs> the thing is, though, if um, if a person has mental fortitude, which most competitors should, if they get to this point, no, but that's uh, the thing. You should be able to kind of look past that. But but that's the thing, though. The, uh, it, it's, it's like, oh, um, it's, uh, one second, let me just, sure. uh, like, the thing is, like, it's kind of something, it's something that right you now. can do to, like, test the waters, and, like, the whole point of, like, it, it, in, in a fight is, like, you, you want to, you're, you're not trying to, like, always, like, outthink your opponent, you want to just see what you can get away with, if they let you get away with it, then, like, that's their fault, not yours, you know? And so, like, yeah. if, even if they do have that fortitude, you should still test the waters to do it anyway. See what happens, you know? Mega almost got a zero to death, like, twice. And then he just barely, like, messed it up. Oh, absolutely yeah, no, not. Is Mobility not is a huge thing. I'm not, not all characters have, have this option, but if you do, then, like, you should put that in your play. I think it's important. And, like, at least right now in this matchup, uh, Mega is showing off that Ike definitely has the mobility, at least versus uh, Richter. Richter, yeah. you know? I can definitely, I can definitely see what, like, what you're saying, though, about, like, taunting. And just trying to get a well, flex, I, I guess. I actually don't, I don't mean the taunting at all. I mean just the resets. The taunting, I don't really care about. If someone's actually, oh, is that what you meant by fortitude? I thought you meant for the resets. But, yeah, if you mean that for taunting, I mean, I guess you could say the same thing. It's just that's a little bit more, like, psychological. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you have your opponent scared going into game three, into, into set three, that can be really strong for you. <laughs> because it either means that they took the time to study and to figure out what they're doing in the matchup wrong, which can be huge. Yeah. Or there's just something that just changed about them in general. I do think that taunting is really actually scary. very funny. I mean, it does Bro, look like, amount, uh, like smash, but he does Okay, that. so, like, the amount of resets that he's going for and the fact that this is on Wi-Fi, I'm actually, like, color me genuinely impressed. Like, I really like this. Like, even if, you know, even if Mega is doing it to be somewhat disrespectful, being like, you're not even good. Watch me just do this and this. I know what you're going to do. Like... Keep that, honestly, keep that energy versus, like, almost anyone. Like, if you can make that work, that's, like, so good. This is so much more interesting because he's doing that. Like, yeah, no. you know, and I think that's really, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just, like, really taken aback by it right now. And I'm, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, this is uh, way more interesting than I would have expected. I guess another big thing is, like, why is Slink taking Mega here? I mean, this is a pretty good stage for uh, Richter, yeah, for I Belmont, know. I'm pretty sure. Just because, like, you have the large blast zones, and, like, if Richter needs to recover high, he can land on those platforms. But, well, actually, don't those platforms, like... No, they don't, because if you jump from the ledge, you get hit by the fire anyway, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's definitely the case. Yeah. But it's like, it, it does help Ike a lot, the fact that there's this huge open space in, <clears throat> excuse me, in the middle. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh man, Mega sleeping again, bro. Well, no. You see, here's the thing, right? 
the fact like Mega has been like going for like this game plan and stuff and like with all the resets like it is it is up to his opponent to adapt to that and so the fact that Slink is in fact adapting to it Mega does have to stick to his play but there's also the fact there's also the, the fact that from Mega's point of view uh, going for the going for those things are are reads and that can be very mentally taxing you know even if you even if you are trying to like like flex on your opponent like you still have to think about their options like three or four steps ahead to even like make those uh, like a, a, a reality and so you know even he might be slowing down just a little bit because it's just like how many patterns is he gonna try and predict Jesus Christ you didn't just bail out immediately that's Freaking amazing. And that was the reset. Yes, yes it is. Da, 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 da. That was that was a sick sick two games. I I don't remember. Uh he didn't like really play like that game one, but game two and and beyond. I, I thought that was really sick. You know, Mega definitely is figuring out how to play the matchup a lot better. Which yeah. is really good considering how many and, and Slink how many is matches also, you have to do it. Slink is also like adapting. So like, you know, this is really good growth, you know. Be, like I think it's uh pretty cool to see uh such a like a reset heavy like playstyle and, and like just like showing that's just like he's like, bro. I'm putting the ball in your park literally every time. If you are not smart enough to uh, stop me, well, it's your fault, and I'm just gonna take this sick W. Um, yeah. And so like now, you know, Slink is beginning to, you know, uh, pull some ground, but uh, a little bit too late for this set getting 3-0'd. Yep. Um, We're gonna be going into set two grand finals. Uh, we're going to be striking and everything as per usual. So this is the first time, uh, this is like the second time Mega's been in Grand Finals, right? But this is also the first time he's taken a set in it. I, so he I might... don't remember that. Yeah. Hmm. Smash GG takes forever. Yeah, um, what's his face? Uh, Z minus actually made a really good point. And that's the fact that uh, Richter doesn't have a great any good anti airs. He doesn't have like any great anti airs that aren't like huge commitments. I mean, block. I don't know if he's if he's gonna come down with Nair, like, like what is it? These are resets, so like you can literally like try and put together the the pattern where you're saying like, okay, he goes for an uh, an empty hop, jumps. Uh, he go he goes for an empty hop, thinking that you're gonna he, you're gonna nair then, and then he he goes for the empty hop instead, and then nairs the second time, and it's just like, just just get the pattern awareness, or or just hold block, or just disengage. Like you're you're a projectile character, so like if you see that they're doing something like that, they're giving you an opening to get out, and and it's not like nair is gonna cover all roll options it's only going to cover the in roll option so like he can always roll away he's like he hasn't done it in a situation where he's been completely cornered and as long as he has just even if it's just a little bit of space to put him out of that range that that does a lot you know and then that just all that does is continue the pattern of the fact that like mega has to like read like oh okay now that you're going to start rolling i'm going to do empty hop into run up dash grab or something you know but 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 then at that point, it's like, yeah, we got a fight on our hands. We got a, we got some good nooch, you know. Mm. I, f I, f I feel like this is like making me like think brawl, and it's making me very happy because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see some sick nooch. Tbh, tbh, tbh. It was very funny watching Mega in the chat being like, imagine if he upbeat me for doing unsafe nairs on shield instead of doing down tilts. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, yeah, that's yeah. He knows. He knows the options. He knows like the the stuff, and he's reading my man. He has subscribed to his magazine, and he is reading all of those juicy tips and gossip on on his uh on his choices. Yeah, I, mean, I respect the fact that he understands like the matchup and the fact that uh, he hasn't really been taking. That uh, Slink hasn't really been taking advantage of the, the options that he has in neutral. <coughs> That's a really important one. And granted, uh, it, 
Yeah, continue. What? Now, 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 for, now, now, granted, like, um, what is it? Uh, yes. What is it? You know, he could, he could probably do it a little bit more respectfully, but that doesn't really honestly matter, you know? So, it's actually pretty interesting to see. Oh my god. <clears throat> Is this, a is this a challenge? Is this a challenge? Is it the Nair challenge? Is it the please up me? I, th I think we need a counter. It's too late. We don't know how many he's done already. It could have been 50 by now. <sighs> oh my god, Mega, please fight. I love, I love this. Oh my god, this is dumb. Is the generacy is coming for us from New Jersey? I, like, you know, I think it's a it's a really important thing to like emphasize like your movement against your opponent, and then that's like that's where like things like resets are born, where you're just gonna do your movement and like you are scaring them because like you have the most you have the highest potential energy, like you haven't committed to anything, which means you can press anything at any time, and and, yeah. and like that is like. That's fighting. Like that's that is neutral, and that is some really good, really good play. Because like it, 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 you wait for the window to like truly capitalize, just like Mega just did with that Nair Bear. Yeah, no, that was really good. He ain't dead yet. Yeah, Slink definitely isn't looking at the chat. I feel like if he had, if he was, he would have done. He definitely would have upbeat there. I don't know, man. It's scary. You can't really coach neutral. TBH, TBH, TBH. You, no, I understand like, that. But there it's takes like... quite a lot of analysis. And even the fact that like you were to do it once or whatever, great, whatever. You know, that just means that you went to the next level of the puzzle. You know? I guess trying to get his shield broken right now, bro. What are you doing? He's showing he doesn't care. And like that's it's kind of working, you know? He knows he knows the boundaries. He'll hold his shield till it's, it's super small because he's in control. He knows he's not gonna let it break, but he can at least be like, because like what is it? You you could also say, and, and I, I it's really funny that like I could be like misconstruing like literally all of this, right? But like in in like it, even even if it's his intention or not, uh, that is what he's doing. Um, but like yeah, like you could say like. I'll, I'll make my, my shield intentionally smaller because I know how you're going to react to if I do have a smaller shield. You'll go in. So now you're going to try and capitalize on something. But I know that. So now, you know, like, uh, something's going to happen. Uh, so I can take back that control. Yeah, no. Learning people's like habits such... and tendencies in neutral? Yeah, John, right? <laughs> Thanks. I'll just throw myself off the stage. I'm going to get a 100 header salute. I mean, like, honestly, like, for everyone watching right now, um, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, like, toot my own horn or something and, like, as, like, the, the sage of, of, like, advice, but, like, really think about these types of options because that is really, like, a powerful way to up, up, uh, upgrade your play. Like, there are so many things that you can take advantage of just by, like, it's not even taking it slow. It's just, like, you don't press anything. It's really, like, just using your movement is so important. Like, your character isn't a static uh, motion, you know? Like, you, you, like, Smash has so much depth because, like, the movement is so granular. You don't need something like perfect pivoting uh, to do, like, proper microspacing. You know, you all you need to do is know their area, your burst range, their burst range, and how they'll react. And, like, you just be just out of range you know yeah. it's 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 how many frames you hold the stick in the direction of your opponent it like that is like the true micro spacing and, and and like like taking advantage of like really high level neutral you know and and this is why i am actually this is right now probably like my favorite set of like a while. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. 
in a thousand years. Yeah. Well, let me see some of that good nooch. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to see some nooch. It's like yeah, yeah, nooch him, nooch him. You know. And then there's the fact been that doing an awesome job of this. Yeah. yeah. And then there's the fact that like if Slink is able to make a comeback, like. Because Mega is putting all this pressure, that's fantastic play in retaliation. And right now he is keeping it fairly even, you know? So it's like, that's sick. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I actually really like Mega's movement right now. Just don't fuck up. <laughs> Sorry for Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. What is this event? My man's is choking? Maybe not. No, he didn't choke. Ooh. All right, Mega takes. Game one. And Mega almost choked on his food. Like I saw multiple chances when he could have taken, he could have ended the match, and he almost dropped it. But in the end, he's able to clutch it out. Nice. I was like, yeah, understanding your opponent's burst range, your own burst range, and how to, uh, and how the two can kind of interact is like one of the most important basics of any matchup. Yep. And for those and who don't know, that a lot of people don't get. For those who don't know what burst range might necessarily mean, it's literally just the the distance of. Uh, when something becomes unreactable. Think about if you're point blank with uh, Falcon and he can do like dash grab. Like there's a there's a range where you can't react to that. And so like different moves and different movement of characters have access to different burst ranges. Slow characters uh, will more often have a lower burst range, meaning they are less threatening until they're super close. But then characters who have greater movement uh, or, or greater speed than can like control more space uh, because they have access to that space quicker. It's like their their area of effect, sort of. You know, that's like yeah. how how far reaching the the pressure goes. The biggest thing about burst range is that people get different different characters get different amounts of reward for them. So like Luigi can get if he gets a grab, he can get a kill off of a, off of his burst range at specific distances. But characters like Ike might only get 30 to 20 percent for jumping in and trying to get in there. Yeah. So just remembering like what distances and what kind of rewards each character can get at different distances is one of the most important parts of playing a matchup. I mean, yeah, uh, Pink Cage. I, I mean, for Sonic on Wi-Fi, yeah, his yeah, first round kind of. is basically the whole series. That is like that is like the problem. Uh, for Sonic in this game, you know, like his burst range is far less uh, offline, but because you have to predict the future, like yeah, it becomes way larger, and it's kind of a it that like that is an issue, you know. Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. That's yeah. That's literally the whole reason why the character is really tough to fight. Neutral. It's like, how do you react to this in time? And you kind of can't, even if on cross stage, and that's kind of really stupid. All right, now Slink, uh, game two, taking Mega back to Kalos, uh, able to get the first stock here. Um, I apologize, I actually wasn't That's... really paying attention to the first stock, so I don't know how it went down. <laughs> but I, I, actually, I think with like even that, you know, uh, Slink is beginning to like kind of, you know, he's been trying, he's been attempting a, his own adaptation this whole time. You know, a anytime you get hit, it's a lesson, so you should always take that. Uh, and now he's like he's pulling back. He's trying to make sure that he's controlling as much uh, space as he can, you know. And now, mm -hmm. you know, he's he might be frustrating Mega a little bit. And now Mega's like trying to go in because you know he is down. He is at a deficit. He does need to make something happen if he wants to to win this game. And and now Slink, you know, is really just controlling Jeez. it. And my God, it's it's going from controlling to steamrolling. Now Mega did read that roll and, and killed him with the up tilt, but. Uh, sometimes we're just a little bit off on Wi-Fi, but he was able to get the kill anyway. So, you know, uh, full stock lead, zero to zero. Let's see what happens. All right, so <laughs> Slink Mega finally reading, getting in. Slink reading a jump and going for like this full hop axe, and Mega just literally just running and is just like, "Look here, Mister," and then grabs him by the by, <laughs> by the collar. That was probably the biggest adaptation that Slink has made. Is that he's using Axe a lot more to try to anti air Mega. Yeah. But he's trying to do it in different ways as opposed to like before where he was doing it at set distances. Yeah, Mega has Mega's been going for a lot of empty hops, so he's been putting himself in the air a lot. And and like yes, her der jumping in ultimate is very good. 
if you know what your opponent is going to do, then you can do something about it, okay? Yeah. And even if you can't immediately do something about it, you can pressure it. You can make it harder, all right? Sometimes you can't. It's not. There is no instant gratification for every situation. God, I've been I've been wanting to talk about neutral for, for years. I I guess like just, neutral just again is all on my system, man. What is a neutral? What Jeez. is what is the that, sick nooch? That was the first time that I've actually seen Mega punish that down there. Good job. Watch your opponent. See what they this do. This might be about to end in Mega's favor. It might. He, you know, he might have the adaptation. 163 is a tall order to make a comeback with, but, you know, Ike does have the tools. Yeah, this is just anger. <laughs> he literally needs one more hit, and that might be fuel it. Fuel you. Fuel you. He's angry. He's an angry boy. Oh, that that's yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Throwing his sword into the... into the... into the, the floor. I, I really want to believe that Mega was just is either sandbagging or just like, alright, I have to actually start trying now because I'm getting like bodied super hard. And he just turns on, he just turned uh, up. Is Mega gonna 6 0? Alright, here's him throwing in. <laughs> just throw that in there. <laughs> uh, so Kalos does not. I, <sighs> hold on a second. Yeah, I mean, Slink has been pretty like uh, insistent on. <laughs> Insistent Kalos. on going to Kalos. I would be. I, I would like to know what are Mega's bands and like. I'm about to tell you. Okay. Hold on a minute. Is it is it like Town and FD or something? You know the. My assumption oh. is Smashville and FD. Oh, you mean it's not the? I got rid of two FDs and it took me to the third FD. And it's just like it doesn't. Yep, Smashville and FD. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's pretty understandable. Uh, you don't We're want that, that close range. I can really hurt. Hmm. I'm interesting. So, why not? trying to think he could Why not he could try lilat because like lilat changes the dynamic that is slings ban interesting i know i know that i know that for uh for richter uh for for belmont's uh lilat can be like a fairly uh, divisive stage because some like the way that it changes how his his projectiles interact and some don't want that at all so yeah. Slink might be in that latter category. Um, I think Slink just plays a very holy water heavy character. Uh, yeah, I know, but that, and that's the cool thing. he probably doesn't want to adjust. Yeah, but that's the cool thing about it because now holy water like covers different range. But yeah, it does. That's neither here nor there. I I think you know that'd be something worth looking into. But that's whatever. Um, oh uh, wow. God. He just went for it. Another stage option I could imagine is honestly, oh. like I don't really, I don't see how big of a deal going back to like a stage like PS2 would be. I mean, that's Mega's comfort pick, and I think that's probably the it's biggest reason why he doesn't. Pick. No, Mega like, in particular, because Mega was allowed to extend his up air combos really well there, more than this stage. Yeah, okay. just I mean, okay. Dropped. I don't know if I'm convinced, but I mean that is definitely like a. It's definitely an argument, you know. I, He's definitely yeah, laddered yeah, like absolutely. people, like multiple people there, including Slink. Like they played a uh, like whenever Mega's counterpicking, that's usually where he goes against Slink. So I think that's why he's trying to actively avoid that stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honestly, like, why not battlefields? It's kind of my my question. Because like Slink wants a platform to hide under, he wants something. He wants a place where you can just throw out projectiles. I mean, being under he a doesn't... platform is definitely a very favorable uh, situation for a character like Belmont. So I, de I, I definitely agree with that sentiment. I, I think maybe just like how you said, how PS2 can uh, like extend his combos because of the platforms. Battlefield is literally that again. Although yeah. I guess the counter argument is that Battlefield does have a higher ceiling, so that is also a, a very important factor to to take into effect. Which you know sometimes people like don't entirely account for because you only ah. think of the interactions rather than the result of the interactions. Because it's like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna eat a, an extended combo on this on this platform, but am I gonna die? The answer might is 
you know, is dependent on the blast zones. To, you know, like the blast zones are a very important factor more to than just the stage layout. Sometimes I would honestly argue the blast zones are more important than the stage layout. It is against Ike, and honestly, the platforms for P for Battlefield probably would help Ike significantly yeah. in laddering someone up to the blast zone because we let's see, Mega loves to do that. That's one of Mega's favorite pieces in mm -hmm. that jump. And honestly, like how long you survive against Mega tends to be dependent on how well you DI and avoid that from happening. Ooh! Oh, it was a nice F smash. He had Mega scared there. Very nice. So that SD kind of shook Mega up. I actually don't even. <laughs> I've been like talking about so much theory. I'm not like particularly paying too much attention to the match at hand. I think the theory is a little bit more interesting though. Um, because like by all means, like it's a it's a good discussion to to have. Uh, like if 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 Mega or I guess right now especially Slink because his back is against the wall, uh, pretty much this entire set. Um, you know, th this is good things to like to reflect on. Like if if we're saying anything, you know, because we're not uh like Belmont experts, right? But if we're saying any uh. Anything that's like a little bit out of line that doesn't make too much sense for Belmont, then like sure. But at, at the very least, that that reaffirms certain things and at, and can also like show different uh, like points of view that you know you can see um, players like considering when they don't play your character. Because like the other thing that you need to consider is you know you. Just because a matchup is bad, and I know that this matchup isn't uh, like isn't super bad. The chat was saying like it was pr it's it's pretty even, right? So even if mm -hmm. even a matchup even if a matchup is bad, right? You still need to like trust, uh, you know that they're not gonna know everything, and even if they are, right? Like it's still a fight. It's still reading, you know. The, not everyone is an optimal machine, you know. Like we're all striving to be that, but you know your opponent isn't the best in the goddamn world, right? Yeah. So everyone like, makes mistakes. Yeah, and like this, the whole a fight is not just out playing, or it, the, a fight is also capitalizing on your opponent's mistakes, you know. Like, mm -hmm. if someone says, oh, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't mess up. Yeah, well, g tough shit. You messed up. That's, <laughs> like, honestly, like, don't do it again. Like, you you hold yourself accountable. That's really important. Yeah. By the way, Yoshi's and Lila with Slink's pants, in case you were interested. Oh, his, yeah. uh, his, his strikes? Oh, his bands. bands. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, just now he banned <laughs> Yoshi's and Lila. I see, I see. Does Lila, like, especially help Ike? I mean, that could be something I'm overlooking, honestly. I mean, Ike doesn't, isn't affected, honestly, by Lila all that much. And he's allowed to still ladder, so I would assume it's not hurtful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then, like, I don't know. I, I think that, well, I mean, <laughs> Mega is on tournament Jesus point, so Christ. now... He's only so now Slink is only going to play on Mega's counter pick. So we don't even see the chance for for Battlefield as a as a Belmont uh, as a as a, as a Belmont. Yeah. yeah. You know, know, if we were going there, we're going there because Mega decided to. But it's very unlikely, especially with this stage being a comfort pick for Mega. Not to mention, just really good for him in this matchup. All right. The fact that he can ladder people up is pretty good and this is this doesn't have particularly high blast zones so it doesn't hurt ike in any real meaningful way mm -hmm. all right yeah like the Ooh, oh. whoa. <laughs> yeah that's another advantage to picking ps2 is that f smash can hit this can hit the platform i mean to be fair slink did pick the best possible option in that situation and that was roll against because if he had yeah. just rolled away or did no true get up, uh, he was or get up attack. way yeah, more likely dead. to get hit by that. So, you know, at least having the awareness for that is really good because, like, that's a scary situation and it's a not common one. Yeah, look at there. The platform comes into play. It's a lot more, there's a lot more danger zones in this matchup when you're fighting Ike on PS2, especially like his Richter. He doesn't have a great option for coming down besides down air and air, which is kind of disjointed. But against Ike's sword, that's not really worth that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like I like that you know. It, okay, so 
something that's kind of like that can sometimes frustrate some people is why isn't he approaching me when he's losing? Bro, mm -hmm. they ain't just gonna play into your hand and just do what you want. Like if you, if that's messing with your approach, then like they're doing something right. You know, they're making it uncertain. And so I like the fact that even though that Slink is a little bit behind, uh, like he's still kind of waiting for the kill, although now he's getting a little bit antsy with that down tilt, like kind of uh, reaching a little bit. But the fact that like in the beginning of the stock here, he was staying under and like Mega was like, oh, I'm not going to approach. Ooh, that was you a know. good dash attack. Holy crap. He got some really good damage on that. And like he's getting closer to taking out the stock. And yeah, that was a good dash attack. So was that one actually too. Ooh! <laughs> I respect it. That was a good flex. Fantastic. No, yeah, did, no, like, no. Oh, was it a rage quit? No. Did it night? happen? Oh my god. I, I Dude. honestly, well, actually, you know, it'd be really funny if it was, if it was, it was mega. mega. It was yeah. like just dropping the mic. Yeah, if that was the mic drop. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Honestly, I really would like to implore Slink to like to like you know watch and like at the very least like listen to what we were like potentially just like uh, trying to get across because like there's a lot of nuance that can be attained like in a set like this like you have to look past the fact that like you know a good portion of it was Mega playing somewhat disrespectfully. But through that, like, shows and does expose certain weaknesses that you have, you know? If someone is able to dance around you, you have to understand why, you know? And, like, never never take any actual personal offense when it's when at the end of the day it wasn't you who were able to execute, you know? Again, it's a fight, you know? So, like, there are things you gotta, like, really... Uh, take control of and just be aware of and it's no more yeah. singles coming up if you don't understand your opponent's options and your own options and how they interact 